Hey, Tony Pan here talking to Dave Chubby Charleboy, Executive Director of Abeta, Wisconsin. We were just talking a little bit earlier about a lot being in the early days, back in the early 70s when we were fighting the helmet law. And in those days, we came with about maybe six or seven guys, hit all the offices, and it was a lot of footwork. It was hard work because we were traveling the whole, all four floors of the Capitol building. It's so much different today when we can get 500 guys that uh, have these meetings and, and also the, the group meetings, the conference rooms where we can bring several legislators in at one time instead of trying to hit them all individually, which we couldn't really do in the old days. But uh, what a long way we've come and how professional this is. What's the impact that you see since the few years you've been executive director? When, when we look at, at issues with the legislature, they look at us as a professional group. We're not a bunch of bikers that are just shouting out loud. Um, I've spoken about that before. We're at the table because we bring the masses to our lobby day. We, our voices are heard. Um, we just had, we had a lack of success in our last session. Uh, the one thing we told our members to do was get loud. Um, so you'll see a lot of people here, even though the assembly is out of session now for this year, you're going to see a lot of people here that are here to talk to their offices. The Senate's still around. We'll be talking to them. Uh, we'll be assured to have some bills introduced, and that's because um, not, not that we're doing better than you did it in the old days, Tony. We've just progressed. As technology has progressed, as we have, we've done it more, we've gotten better at it just because of the amount of times we've done it. I definitely wasn't part of lobby days in the 70s or, or early 80s even, uh, but when I started doing this in the late 90s, we probably had 60 or 70 people here still getting issues done and conveying our message. But to have 500 members here and have multiple members in every office of the Capitol, that's priceless. And, and the biggest thing I can see over the years the biggest change I see was when we were doing this back in the 70s, it was pretty much a single issue. We were fighting the mandatory helmet law. Some other things came up after repeal, but in those days, it was pretty much a single issue. Things are so much more complicated now when you guys are dealing with four or five, sometimes six different issues. This year, we're presenting three, four, I think four issues uh, to the legislature. It's so much more complicated, and it's going to take a lot more people to be able to handle that. And the training, we didn't have training. We went in there firing off the seat of our pants. Today, you guys train a core group of leaders, and then you have the room filled with, with supporters. So it's, it's so much more sophisticated. We are having a training this year that we're going to open it up first to our legislative officers, but we're going to do it around the states. We're going to have eight different ones. It'll give everybody an opportunity. If you do follow the ABATE newsletter, you'll see where some of these trainings are. It'll be on a first-come, first-served basis at no cost. Either there's never a charge for our trainings, but we're teaching grassroots lobbying efforts, grassroots activism. And you guys must be doing it right because not only does A Beta Wisconsin train its its own core members, but I know you guys are invited to go to other states. You're going to Steam in South Dakota to do a workshop on lobbying techniques. So uh, what you're doing here in Wisconsin is being recognized around the country as a model. Uh, absolutely. So we're trying to make sure that motorcyclists across the United States have a solid united voice and we lead the way by being quite loud about that and with some of our legislation. When states see us, us pass some things, they follow up and it does work likewise. Other states have gotten a jump on some of the things we're doing too, but that it's all about working together and having a united voice throughout this country, especially the Midwest I think has been solid with that. Well, thanks, Chubby, for raising the bar every year. I mean, uh, I'm excited. To, uh, I've been around for 42 years, and every year I get more excited because it's getting better every year. It's because of guys, leaders like you, and because of the members that help raise the bar every year. And I, I think we've got nothing but uh, good things to look for in the future.